Hey guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm actually going to be showing you how you can make a hair trigger with your ARP9 or any uh, G&G gearbox that's like this. So I know the SSG1 has a gearbox like this. Um, so, yeah, so I'm just going to be showing you that. This is a semi-complicated way. Uh, the first way you can do it is just the hair trigger. I did a video on that. I'm sorry, you could use a zip tie, go around. Uh, I don't really necessarily recommend that way uh, to everyone, but if you do know how to take about your gearbox, this is a good way to do it without having to solder and everything. So on the G&G trigger, it'll have this little piece that's screwed on. And you can take a pair of pliers and bend it out like I've done. So it used to just curl over and be like a straight line. So as you see, I made it more of an L shape like that. And I also bent it back just a tad. And then I added a bit of electrical tape around uh, this little paddle piece to kind of keep it up off of here just a little bit and so I'm going to show you what it's like so you put it in and this doesn't have a spring on it just for demonstration uh, but yes here it is so spring would have it you know and it'd be this as a trigger pull it does come back so it'd be like this it used to be a very long trigger pull but that is what it is now so that's a simple way to do it um, if you have any questions comments Leave them in the comments or Instagram or Discord are a good way to get uh, in contact with me. Bye.